Hey guys, and welcome to the new video on this deep learning tutorial. In this video here, I'm going to show you how we can use this YOLO v7 model. First of all, we'll go into the GitHub repository, see a comparison of these different kind of like YOLO, YOLO models. Then we'll go into code and actually like see how we can use uh, the inference with the YOLO v7 model. But first of all, remember the subscribe button and pull notification on the video. Only 10% of you guys watching these videos here actually like subscribe to the channel. It's just a single click and it helps me and the YouTube channel out in a massive way. You can also become a member of the channel if you want to support the channel with a small amount of fee. Everything will go to create more and better quality content here on the channel. Also, if you're a member of the channel, I can help you out in your own projects. If you have some problems, I can help you out and give you some guidance if you're a member of the channel. So, thank you guys. First of all here, we're just going to have a quick look at this YOLO v7 GitHub repository before we're going to jump into the code and actually like see how we can use the YOLO v7 model. First of all here, we have all the different kind of files with the models. We also have some inference images scripts and also the paper if you want to read that we can go more into details about that and also the paper uh, later on but down here at the bottom we can see like the implementation of this paper so yolo v7 trainable bag of free freebies uh, freebie sets new state of the art for real-time optic detection here we can see a comparison of these different kind of like yolo architectures and models on the coco optic detection data set so here in purple, we can see the YOLO v7 model. We can see the purple um, is actually like really good. It has a high uh, average precision and it's also really fast when we're doing inference. So it's, the, it's actually like the fastest model and also the model with the highest like precision. We can also see the comparison with YOLO R. We can see YOLO X. We can also see YOLO v5. So YOLO v5 down here in the white one. So it's way faster. It's actually like way faster, almost like twice as fast as um, twice as fast as the YOLO v5 architecture that we have talked about here on the channel and also showed you uh, in some videos how we can actually like, do live optic detection with a webcam with YOLO v5 and so on. So if you just want to use the YOLO v5 model, I have videos about that here uh, on the channel. But here we can see a comparison like from uh, from like the best model here from YOLO v5 to the best model here of YOLO v7. We can see that it is actually like 120% faster then the version 5 model, we can also see the average position is also uh, better. We can get a web demo here integrated into Hawk and Face Spaces. So we can actually like, use Hawk and Faces to, to see a demo of this YOLO v7 model. Again, I've also made videos here on the channel about the Hawk and Face framework. So this is actually like, really cool. It can be used for a lot of different kind of things. So basically Hawk and Face is just a framework for using pre-trained models. It, it has over like 60,000 pre-trained models that you can just directly go in specify and use you can use all these different kind of things for specific tasks you can do like uh, nap task like you can do translation you can do like speech recognition and so on you can both do an audio images like there's a lot of things going on in the hawk and uh, hawk and face uh, website and the community over there so definitely check that out you'll learn a lot just go through the documentation the tutorials see some videos here on youtube and you'll gain a lot of knowledge about like how we can use pre-trained models you can even do like transfer learning on your own data set with pre-trained models and you can just directly go in only write a color lines of code and then you connect like everything set up with the hog and phrase framework so here we can see some performance here we can just see the ms uh, coco data set we can see YOLO v7, different kind of like versions of that. We can see the test side and also the average precision, uh, the batch of the frame per second, so how fast it acts like is. We can also see like how to install it. I'm going to show you that, how we can actually like set it up in Google Colab. Then we can also do some training if you want to do some training on your own data set. Again, this might actually like be easier to do with Hawk and Face, but again, you can also just go in here and use the train uh, Python scripts directly provided by this GitHub repository, and then you basically just need to specify the path to your data set and the image size and so on. So all these different kind of things, you can both train it on a single GPU and also multiple GPUs. You can use it on tra transfer learning and so on. You can also do inference on both video and images, as I'm just going to show you now in a couple of seconds in Google Colab. You can also do some export. You can do post estimation. So this model, YOLO v7 model here is actually like really cool. We can both use like use it for post estimation. We can do instant segmentation. So not only so now we're not only doing optic detection, but we're also doing both optic detection and instant segmentation um, at the same time. And again, it is actually like a really fast model. It runs in real time, really, really, really fast, and it had has really high accuracy as well. So right now, I'm going to Google Colab here. I'm going to show you how we can use the YOLO v7 model for optic detection. First of all, we need to clone the GitHub repository uh, that I just showed you. We just call GitHub uh, git 
clone and then we just pass in the link to the repository that we want to clone and then we just cd inside of that uh, directory folder uh, where we have actually like cloned it here into our google colab so it will be over here to the left when we have actually like cloned it now we're just cloning we can see that we're receiving the objects uh, and now we're actually like done it took four seconds then we can see we get this folder over here to the left with the yolo v7 model then we just get all of these different kind of files that i just showed you on the github we have like inference we have the models we have the papers and then we have all these different kind of files for both testing and also doing detections with the v 7 model but we can also do like the transfer learning with the training script that they have provided for us as well so now we're just going to close this one here and then we're going to install the requirements so to have a requirements text file that we need to install first so we can both like install like pytorch and all these different kind of things so we can just directly run our model then we're just going to call pip install the requirements that they have actually specified so we can see that some of the requirements are already satisfied because we're using google colab so if you're using it not on a local machine you might actually like need to install all these different kind of things but it will take care like this this script here or like this requirements file would take care of all of it for you so now we need to download the weights for the model. We just call vget here, and then we just specify the link to the to the actual like um, to the actual like weights that we want to download. So this is just yolov 7 and then this is just like a weight file. So it has this .pt extension. So this is basically just a weight file that we can then pass into our model together with an image, and then we just get an output of with optic detection with the yolov 7 model. So now we're going to download the weights. We can see that we're resolving it from GitHub. We can also get this like bar here of like how far it is. So now it took five seconds to download this model here. Um, and now we can download a sample image. You can just use like any arbitrary image. You can basically just take your own image. You can just drag it into this folder here over to the left um, outside of this or like inside of this YOLO v7. And then you just specify the path to that as I'm going to do now. So here we just have VGET, VGET again. We just have an image here that we're going to use as a sample image. And then we just specify the name that we want to store the image as. So we're just going to call it image.jpg uh, or like a JPEG. Again, you can just use your own image from your own computer. You can just upload it here uh, to Google Colab and then you just specify the path to that. But here we're going to download the sample image. So now that is done. Now we can basically just do optic detection with the YOLO v7 model. We can just use the direct, like the, the, the Python script that they have provided for us. So we're just going to call python detect.py. Then we specify the weights that we have just downloaded. So these are the weights that we just downloaded in, in a couple of uh, blocks up here. So this is the weights that we downloaded here. So we just specify the path to that. And then we just have the source image here. So we just specify the path to the image. Again, we just use the detect.py file. And then we just have the weights and our input image. Then we will get the output out here afterwards. So now we're just going to run this block of code and then we can actually like get the output and see the optic detection with the new YOLO v7 model. Again, in another video, I'm going to cover how we can do this on a live webcam as I did with the YOLO v5 model. So definitely subscribe to this channel here so you'll get a notification when I actually like upload uh, those videos about YOLO v5, uh, YOLO v7 real time inference on a webcam and also on a really low budget uh, computer because this is actually like a really fast model that can be run on. Uh, on, on acts like really standard uh, hardware and only use uh, the CPU. So here we can see that it actually like uses the CUDA or like it uses the GPU with PyTorch. We can see a summary of our model. So it has almost 800 layers. And here we can also see all the different kind of parameters. So we can see it has 150 million parameters inside of our model. Here we can see that the model is traced and now we just pass that through. We can also see the inference time. So it took 41 milliseconds to actually like pass this image through. We also get some uh, outputs from our act like script. So we can see it detected 10 persons, two horses, four umbrellas, and it did it in um, in 44 uh, milliseconds. So this is actually like really fast. So again, I'm going to show you how we can actually like do this on a live webcam uh, later on. But if we go over to the image folder here to the left, we can actually like see we have the YOLO v7. Then if we go into the runs here, so when we actually like do detections, it will create this new run folder. And then we can go inside our detection. Then we have our experience. And then we can basically have our image here that we did optic detection on. I'm just going to open it up here and then I'm going to zoom out so you can so you guys can actually see uh, what is going on. So here we can see the image of the optic detection that we have done. We can see all the different kind of like um, detections. So at the top, we have actually like sword that we had 10 persons. We had a couple of horses and then we had uh, some umbrellas. 
We can even see here it detects a horse with almost like 90 90% uh, confidence score that this is acting like a horse, even though I can't even see that this is a horse. But again, a horse is walking on this ground here, so the probability that there's a horse here is actually like pretty big. But again, I can't see that this is a horse, but most likely it is, and it actually like has a really high confidence score of that. Even the persons here in the background, we can even like only see um, an area of them, and they act like detected it with a high confidence score. Also, the umbrellas, the person on top of the horse, and this horse here, where you can see the whole of it, uh, it acts like has, has a confidence score of 97%. So this is just one sample image that we just passed through the model. We downloaded the weight. We had the detect script from uh, from GitHub. Then we just specified the path to our weight, specified the image folder or like the image path as well. And then we just did the detections. We just passed that through our model. So this is one sample image. Again, I'm going to do it on a live webcam. So thank you guys for watching this video here. And again, remember to subscribe button and bell notification under the video. I'm really excited for this Jolly V7 model. We're going to use it for a lot of different kind of things with instant segmentation post automation, optic detection on a live webcam uh, on like standard or like low budget hardware because that is actually like durable with this really fast model. So if you're interested in more about computer vision, deep learning and so on, I also have videos or and tutorials about that here on the channel. So if you're interested in that, I'll link to one of them up here or else on the next video guys. Bye for now.